Entertainment. Straight by the way, nigga. I'm from the bottom of the bottom where it ain't no top. I've been grinding for a minute, no, this ain't gon' stop. They been waiting on my downfall, this ain't gon' flop. I'm feeling sudden, all these niggas, if this rain don't stop. I'm from the bottom of the bottom where it ain't no top. I've been grinding for a minute, no, this ain't gon' stop. They been waiting on my downfall, this ain't gon' flop. I'm feeling sudden, all these niggas, if this rain don't stop. Cash like lottery Can't say that they gon' murder me When they see me They gon' cop the pay. What you know about losing cribs Know about losing whips I was either two or three When we got evicted out that bitch Talk Oh yo, how like the kid Cause the kid wanna hear What they deal, son Hi <laughs> Fuck CB bringing you back Another video So uh, today uh, What we doing, Taya? Um, we're doing that We're doing the dash today So we're doing a dash the thing we're doing differently is, you, you, you see this part here, right? And then you see this part. So every video you look up to pull out an RSX dash, they pull out all this with it. The entire dash. The entire dash, right? The metal part, the wires, all that, blase, blase. So we were sitting here, me and Tail, looking at this. And you know me with my bright ideas. I was like, hey, bro, this plastic comes off of this. So, I did a thing, got it off, and now what we're gonna try to do, hey, what you eating? Uh-uh, drop it, it's a bottle cap. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try to pull the plastic off, the dash, inside the car, because he has tannins here, we're gonna try to pull that off without pulling all that out. And if, you, if you're watching this video, that means it fucking worked, okay? And it, <laughs> it, it's three times no, easier. You're not lying. They're watching it work. It like, works. We not uploading it. Don't. It's three times easier to pull this off than it is to pull that whole thing out. Did you do the math? Why is it three times? Because I said so. That's why. All right. All right. So let's get to it. That's the culprit. That's the dash. Well, the car that we're getting ready to pull the dash out. That's my shit. Y'all haven't seen the car in a while. I've done a lot to it. I've just been hella busy and been slacking on um, my videos. But just to give y'all a little update. New wheels. She's wide body now. She's wrapped green. A little ricer wing with some uh, end plates that I made. Those are not from Wolf Aero or Big Country Lab or nothing. I made those. Uh, new steering wheel. Shift boot, new seats. I got a harness bar, C pillar bar, whatever. Uh, I dip those, dip that in a Kevlar dip. Uh, also this. Um, I broke this, so I need to replace that because I was gonna dip this, the 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 gray part of this, and it didn't work. So yeah. Well, let, me, let me show you this car, the car that y'all are really here to watch. So Tay already started before I got here. Um, he pulled the seat out just so we could have more room to play because the screws are behind the dash. Uh, the center. So we have to get the steering wheel off. We have to get that out. Uh, all the, the buttons up there, we have to get that out. Unplug everything. And then there's a bunch of screws in the back here, this has to come off. Uh, a bunch of screws back here that we have to take out. There's two screws that go here. Every screw from the plastic that you see in metal, you want to pull out. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying it's real easy to see the screws because it's definitely not easy at all. Uh, but what we're assuming is that pulling this plastic off the metal part back there, the actual dash, um, it's gonna be easier than pulling out the whole entire dash because when you pull out the whole entire dash You have to take the steering wheel column out all that blase blase Hopefully, we're just gonna be able to pull off the steering wheel Pull the plastic off and when we pull the plastic off. It's just gonna go over to the rack and Be good to go Hopefully so I'm gonna try my best to show y'all where the screws and all that is at um, I know for me even for me they're gonna be hard to see so 
I'm gonna do my best and hopefully y'all get the gist of what we're doing. So before we go into pulling all these parts and everything apart, seats out and all that, make sure you unplug your battery. Now Teo's battery is rear mounted. It's relocated to the back. It's not in his hood anymore. So we already dislocated it. Positive, dislocated. And then that's when you start pulling out all the plastic pieces. Pull out what you can first, and then pull out the dash, pull out the radio, climate control, center console, seat, and stereo. Cluster. Anything else that you can pull out, pull it all out. Everything. What we did is we took out the cluster, took out the steering wheel. Um, to take out the cluster, if you look underneath here, there's literally two screws. One here and one here. You pop those. I just those, fucking tighten that bitch. And then push, you go underneath here and just push the cluster out. Um, the steering wheel, I have a video on my page on how to take the steering wheel out. He's still trying to get those two screws out and that screw up there. Um, there's a screw here and then one here. I believe there's another one back here that I took out. Yeah, there's one right here. Took those out. So all those are out. We still have some screws underneath there where the ECU is at to take out. And then I believe we just pull out from there. If I and, find any more screws, I'll let you know. And there are some clips that hold it in. There. Yeah, some clips, but the clips are nothing. You just literally pull and they pop out. Um, I'm recording on my phone now because Teo's camera died. So hopefully the audio doesn't sound too Maybe messed up. But uh, if it does, the camera's charged right now. Hopefully we can get back on the camera. But yeah, so I'll let y'all know if we find any more screws. Screw you. <laughs> oh. Sorry. You okay? <laughs> have, have some difficulties back here. All right, so after I drop the glove box, right? There's two screws, one here, one here. Those have to come off because there's a, a metal plate behind this little plastic piece. Now, after I took those screws out, this part is loose right here. Um, I believe there's screws back here. And then also, if you look here, after you tell, take the radio out, there's a screw here and this screw right right here, behind here. For the radio? No, for oh, the yeah. for the dash part here, there's two screws here. Pop those off, and then um, I'll pick up back where we, when we find the other screws. But yeah, just pop those two up. So I was struggling to get this glove box off. Like it's, it's oh, it wasn't like that before, but it was it was sticking on. So underneath, when you pull this down, there's a screw here and a screw underneath there. I, I literally thought they popped off of this, but uh, no, not an RSX. So yeah, pull those out. Um, Teo just got that screw out and this screw out. Yeah, so uh, there is a screw. Did you tell him about this one? Yeah, I told him about yeah. that screw. Teo doesn't care about this dash, so he just clipped this to get some more hand movement yeah. in there. But uh, yeah, so those are out. I got to finish taking these out, and I know there's some screws back here that we're gonna. I'm gonna show you after I get that out. Um, sorry if this video is kind of like all clipped together because I'm not really recording. I'm just trying to get these screws out, trying to get this done before we lose daylight. Uh, but I'm trying to show you as much as I can. But yeah, back to you. Real quick update. That's the tweeter. So there's a screw back there that's basically show it. on the inside. Yeah. So there's a screw right here um, that holds the frame of the actual dash to the, to the dash itself. Of the plastic, so you have to just kind of snip that. We just broke that bitch off, and then broke that off. We broke this one off. This is if you really don't care about your other dash. Like we don't care about this tan one. We're just ripping it out. Um, obviously, if you want to keep the dash, if you want to keep the dash, you don't want to do that. You really want to work to clip it out, but we don't feel like doing that. We're just gonna go ahead and snip the clips because we don't want to be here all day. So we broke that one where is it at that one right there we broke that one there's one back here just one right here broke that one off 
And there's also another one. Focus, please. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Uh, up there. That one up there. We're just going to break that one too, but you can get back there, put your hand through here, and then screw it up there. Um, we just don't have the right side screwdrivers and all that for it. But as you can see, this is about to come out. It's coming out. It, the, there's nothing but clips back there. So once I get this screw out here, the one that's holding it up here, um, it this literally should out. just slide right out. Uh, just make sure when you pull it out, all the wires are tucked away so you're not ganking on wires yeah, and all that. On um, so right now we're going back, tucking wires back. Uh, make sure you also pull yeah. this out right here. That's for your automatic, uh, your climate control, actually, I'm sorry. It's for your climate control, the, the heat and all that shit. Make sure you just pop that out, clop, pull the clip off, slide it to the side. It's Keep in mind also, piece. the AC line is part of the plastic. Yeah, this black, the vent, the vent stuff is part of the plastic. So, so that comes out, as yeah, you can it see. It comes out with it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get that off and then pull the dash off. That last screwdriver, uh, make sure when you, after after we pulled that out, it literally wiggled out. You want to make sure you get the clips off for the tweeters, unplug the tweeters, get this clip off for the climate control, boom, and then there's the other side, the clip for the tweeter. Boom, dash slid right out. Now the plan is the new dash will slide right in. We'll make sure all the plugs are in place so we can plug everything back up. But this is a job we've literally done pulling it out within two hours without pulling out this metal bar this is just a trick we've learned that was a lot quicker i guess because everybody else took at least three hours just and to get all this out wiring issues we just connect everything that's right the fuck there exactly we connect everything like no plugging in I'd plugging like out two birds, one stone. i'm getting a new radio so as i was taking out the radio I set up the new radio, so I just put the new one back in. Yeah, which I wish he had his aftermarket steering wheel because yeah. we'd have just put all the steering wheel in and all that. But since he doesn't, we're going to put a black steering wheel back up Fluster. there, plug everything back in, and he should be good to go. Thanks, bro. You're welcome, bro. the dash back in now we start putting screws back in the screws that we know we're gonna throw yeah, back screws in screws are we need them shit. yeah the screw because yeah. we don't we don't want that shit in our house so the screws that we can put back in we're gonna put back in and plug everything back up and my friend tail right here will have a black dash yes, sir. all right so we're finishing up putting everything back together um I didn't show you guys how to take the airbag out. So to take the airbag out, pop those three screws, those three bolts out, and it, you use something to pry these up um, just a little bit, and then you could shimmy it out. Uh, but like I said, we're putting everything back together. Uh, we have to wait for our friend to bring us the black steering wheel. So right now we're just putting this one on for now. Uh, we're waiting for the radio harness so he can put his new radio in, his aftermarket radio. And then he still needs the center console and all that. I'm gonna leave the door panels to him because he knows how to do all that. Uh, we took these pillars out, painting those black. There we go. Wait, wait. Oh, sorry. But yeah, everything's pretty much done. Just go ahead, slide everything back together, plug everything back up, guys. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, peace. And I hope y'all enjoy. God. Oh God! Hope y'all enjoyed. Go ahead, hit that like button, the subscribe button, all that. I'm gonna try to keep making videos for y'all. I just been hella busy with work. I have a wife. I have a kid on the way. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> so yeah, hit that like button, hit the share button, comment. You know what I'm saying? And Tell if anyone wants this dash for 500 bucks, let me know. Send the 500. Custom cut work. Um, you know, homemade remedies and shit. Um, we did all this. I just made it $3,000. There you go. Boom. I kicked the hole. I didn't even kick the hole. <laughs>
All right, y'all. Peace out. Peace, love, and hair grease. Oh, damn. <laughs> he trying to kill me. I'm going to say it again. Peace.